Pokemon, you welcome back to another YouTube video, and today we're taking a look at another woodland creature from Ty's original uh, toys, Ty's teddies. And this is the Beanie Baby, and this is Mitch the Otter, but I've changed his name because I don't like how Ty's toys is trying to push a character onto you. I've called him Buxt, because I got him from Buxton. And he, did, he actually has a story to go with him, which I'll tell you later in the video, but Mitch is assuming I'm outside. And if there's water, he'll make it a slide. He's playful and quick, and I'm fun, and he goes with the flow. He's a pretty cool character, but I don't like how Ty's Toys try and push that character onto you. I like creating my own sort of story with the teddies. And he is very soft. He has massive glittery eyes, which are plastic. And he has a fabric nose, which is a lot different to a couple of the other Ty's Toys. They normally have plastic noses. However, uh... Buxton or Bucks or Mitch, whatever you want to call him for this video, uh, he's an outlier, he's different, he has the sort of uh, fabric-y nose, which again is harder than the rest of the teddy, but isn't made out of plastic like the eyes are, which is really interesting, and uh, I'm very excited to see which way they move forward with making their uh, teddies and plushes and their toys, and I know a lot of people like to collect these Thai collectibles, there is so many of the bears, like the Beanie Baby bears, which go for quite a lot of money. But I'm not too interested in those. Um, so, yeah, but these could go for quite a lot of money. I did get these for around five to six pounds at a Buxton Fair. And the story that goes with these, are me and my girlfriend at the time were going to see her granddad. And he lived near Buxton and... Uh, there was a fair going on, so we went to the Buxton Fair, and it was really cool, it was really exciting, and my girlfriend saw these, and she was like, right, Tyler knows, or Tyler likes otters and foxes, so she got me them, and I thought they were adorable, I didn't even know they had names until recently, because I named them, like, in the car, my girlfriend was asking, like, what are you going to name them, and I was like, Books and Fennec, for, obviously, F for fox and i have a couple of other flock fox plushes fox teddies so i have a lot of different names for them with amber ember fennec and um another one which i don't remember which i should probably remember which is upsetting but that's pretty much it right now for all of these little plush teddies they are very soft again they shouldn't really be used as real teddies with them being quite small um, I recommend them for, like, younger children, uh, they'll be a lot better to cuddle for younger ones than currently, uh, the big old age of 20, which I am, but, again, they are very good collectibles, and I like them, they're sitting at the end of my bed, and they look adorable, all in the collection, and I'm very excited to see what Ty's Toys do next, and if I will get any more in the future, so, other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video, See you all next one. Have a nice day and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe. They are literally so soft and so adorable. You can't help but smile when looking at them.